Now here's a quick side-by-side -side drawing of how this traditional framing might look in a few key pieces in these systems. The first up, we're going to have the rafters. Now these generally will run from the eave to the ridge uninterrupted. And when they get to that ridge, there's going to be a ridge board or beam, and it's the meeting point at the peak of the roof. Now joining that is something called collar ties. And it's typically tying the rafters together from one roof slope across to the opposing side. Now inside the attic space of this gable style roof, I wanna identify a few more important framing pieces. First up is ceiling joists, and those are pretty self-explanatory. They're the framing pieces that bridge the gap between your finished space and ceiling and the attic space. Rafter tails are the sections of rafters that overhang the exterior wall. They're often used for the framing of the eave or the eave um, soffit area. Purlins are framing pieces that run parallel to the eaves in most cases that join rafters together and provide a spot for the purlin braces, which generally help transfer or share the load of the roof down onto a load-bearing wall, usually on the inside of the structure. Now here's an example of what that might look like in an older home. Now in a more modern construction home, there are modern purlins. They still exist, but they may not have the same structural responsibilities because of advances in structural timber that's now used. Now the purlins in this case are part of a stud wall, like you might see here in like a typical interior wall. That bottom plate sits on the ceiling joist like you see here. And here's what that might look like on the interior of a more modern framed home and this purlin stud wall around an HVAC unit in the attic space. Now, before we move on to trusses, the last few framing pieces we need to cover are valley rafters, which is a board that runs the length of the valley. Remember that inside corner? Well, this is that meeting point. Hip rafters, they're a lot like the ridge beam or board, but just at that hip angle. This is the meeting point of the outside corner. And rounding out traditional framing are the hip jack rafters, which are usually non-full length framing pieces that connect the eave to that hip rafter. They jack up or hold up that hip rafter. Now valleys have valley jack rafters, which is similar to those hip jack rafters, non-full length pieces again, and they connect the valleys to either another full-length rafter or the valley to the ridge.